Okay, let's talk about representing our surface using some different ways other than contours. So you can see I've got contours on my screen right now. If I go to my settings tab under surface styles, I have a bunch of different ways I can represent a surface. I can use triangles, uh, show my tin. I've got just a border. I've got some elevation banding and slope uh, band ranges as well, which will break up my surface into different slopes or different ranges. If I come into my surface properties of my surface, select your surface right click and then in your information tab you can go ahead and change to elevation banding for instance and that'll break up your surface into different elevation ranges uh, and apply a certain color to them and the same thing with slopes as well it'll break up your slopes into different ranges from steeper to uh, more gentler slopes and color those accordingly now you can also uh, find those same styles over in your uh, settings tab under surface styles if you want to make a copy or edit this you can come in and do it here or through your settings I'm gonna go and make a copy of this elevation banding uh, style and uh, just make some changes to it so for instance I want to go to the display tab first make sure that elevations are turned on so if you're using elevations as your surface style then what you'll want to do is make sure that elevations is turned on with your light bulb okay next uh, if you're using directions, elevations, slopes, or slope arrows, you can find that in the analysis tab. All right, so now I'm gonna select elevations. Uh, probably the range color scheme rainbow is probably the worst one to pick. Uh, it's hard to differentiate between the highest and lowest elevations, so use a, a one single color tone, like maybe reds, and it'll go from darker shades of red for the highest elevations, and lower uh, elevations will have a lighter shade of red. You can group those elevation ranges using different methods and the different methods you choose will group them quite differently. So check out the different options because it looks very different depending on the method. If you're not sure of what those grouping methods are, click your help and it will explain it. For your number of ranges, how many different uh, uh, sections is it going to divide up the elevations from lowest to highest? So normally we don't like to go less than four or five ranges. You don't have enough definition and usually no higher than eight because it's too many colors to actually be able to uh, interpret. So keep it between five and eight, anywhere in between there's, there's good, but uh, you can change it from the display type as a 2D solid to a bunch of hollowed out 3D triangles if you like, or a solid mesh or a hatching, whatever you like. So click apply and then click okay, click apply and then there's your style. Now, uh, you're probably not gonna be able to interpret much without a legend so what you'll have to do first step is apply the style to your surface second step create the table so go to your annotate tab on your ribbon click add tables this time okay and we're going to select add surface legend table so you're going to select add surface legend table it's going to ask you some questions on the command line select the type of table you want in this case i want elevations and i want it to be dynamic because i want those uh tables to change if my surface changes and then it says pick the upper left corner so I can go ahead and pick the upper left corner it'll build a table now the tables empty you have to do one last thing the last thing is select your surface right click go back into your surface properties and you'll notice you've got an analysis tab there so you'll have to run an analysis before anything shows up in that table so select the analysis type in this case elevations uh, there's my number of ranges and you're going to click the run analysis button so select that button it breaks up your different ranges into seven different uh, groupings you can change those groupings if you don't like them but uh, it's not necessary you can also change the colors if you like manually as well so once you say okay to that now you've got a table if you would like to change your style, you can go in and uh, just switch your style to something like, um, for instance, maybe you want to see some slope ranges. So change your slope. If you want to go in and edit that uh, particular style, click the editor button. And again, in the display tab, make sure in this case you've got slopes turned on. So under the analysis tab, you've got a slope section there. You can go ahead and change that to something uh, different other than rainbow. Pick your number of ranges and the rest of these parameters and say apply and okay and then now you've got some slope ranges so of course you'll have to build another table again go to your add tables in your annotate tab and uh, select add surface legend table this time we're going to pick slopes 
So pick that on the command line, keep it dynamic, and then select your uh, table. And remember your last thing, select your surface, run the analysis. So go to the surface properties, and then in the analysis tab, you'll want to select slopes and run that analysis and it breaks it up into the different ranges based on percent grades in this case. So say OK and now you've got some ranges. Now lastly you'll probably want to plot this so go into a layout, uh, set up your viewport, scale up your viewport. Um, I always find it's maybe easier to plot these tables uh, in paper space so I'll get rid of them out of the model tab, get rid of them out of model space, go into paper space, make sure it says paper space down here, all right, and then uh, just add that table, that same legend in paper space this time. So it works either way. So again, go back to the Annotate tab, add tables, add surface legend table, pick your type, slopes, uh, keep it dynamic, and then pick your upper left corner, and boom, there it is. Now if your table's too big or too small, you can always change the size of it. If it's not fitting in your layout, just go and tweak it up a little bit. You can select your table in your layout, and this works the same in model space too. Go edit table style, and then uh, you can, in your data properties tab, you can go ahead and change you know, things like your title, maybe tighten that up a little bit. The same with the, uh, the header sizes and the cell sizes. So once you say apply to that, okay, your table will adjust. So you can make it bigger, smaller that way, uh, and then go in and plot it. If you need to, make sure you do a plot preview and uh, you should have a fairly reasonable plot. So that's uh, how you can run some analysis on your surfaces. Uh, thanks for watching.